How's it going guys? Welcome back to another Destiny 2 video and we have some news for you today. We have secret emblems, crests, mysterious boxes and how to get the first two keys for the exotic quest with the mysterious box. If you find this video useful a like would be greatly appreciated. Don't forget to subscribe and share. With that said, let's get the show on the road. So if you arrive at the Volunda Forge for the first time and you don't cross over to the other side where the bridge is broken if you drop over to your left you will find a mysterious box this box is, requires four keys in order to unlock and it's likely connected to the last word exotic quest the draw so how do you get these keys well the first two are now available with the volunda forge and the gufanan forge after you win the first round you need to look for drones. These are the same drones that you were fighting in the open world on EDZ and Nessus around the Black Armory roaming higher value targets that were basically making them immune. You would destroy these drones and then you could defeat the enemy. Well, these drones are pretty much flying in two locations on both of them. Once you destroy both drones, at the end of the encounter, you get a chest, you open the chest and you get a key. If you see in this video, the first one here is on the right inside the cave on the right hand side. It will spawn on the second round. They always spawn on the second round, they do not spawn on the first. So you do need to beat the first round. This is pretty fair, they want at least you to make some effort to get the keys. So you defeat the first drone and then the second one is on the far left all the way into the distance in the trees. You'll see me shooting it now. Once you've done this, you pretty much have to complete the encounter. Get to the third wave, defeat the boss, and then there'll be a chest at the end for you to open. Once you open this, you get your key, and you can use that key to insert it into the mysterious box. When you go over to Gafonon Forge in Nessus, it's pretty much the same deal. If you see here, the first drone that appears in round two is pretty much in the place where we enter the actual area. It's just small, you'll just see me see a glimpse of it. Here, I'll slow it down for you. My friend destroyed it just before I could get my shot off, but it was there and you can see it. The second one is on the right inside the big plate that you're seeing here. I'm just gonna be shooting and a few locations as you can see here but essentially it's just going to be in this area where it spawns again you destroy them and complete the encounter one thing we found unlike the volunda forge which required you to actually complete the encounter in full the gofunnan forge did not require this so we actually failed the gofunnan forge because well the servitor just kept on teleporting us and not allowing us to do any damage whatsoever is a highly annoying fight but definitely doable so we failed it on this occasion, but we still got the chest. And as you can see, I insert the key and boom. I've now got two out of four keys to open this exotic quest. This is pretty much how you get the first two keys for the mysterious box. Now, there are other mysteries like the Satao's secret emblem. In Volunda Forge, you'll see scattered around some drones. You'll see one on the left around the cliff. You'll see another one on the right inside the cave and another one in the top left hand corner next to a screen. And these are not interactable. You get a no crest found. Now it seems these are tied to some emblems. Right now I will show you how to get the first emblem. Now I already had the emblem from before. So I was doing it for a friend but you'll see that even if I'm doing it everyone in the fire team actually gets the emblem so only one person has to do this and this is pretty much how I missed it the first time because a friend of mine was doing it he wanted to just check it out so we could do it easily for my video but it turned out we all got it anyway so if you follow these steps slow down the video if you need to but I'll let this play out just for a second so you guys can see and yeah follow these exact shooting patterns and you will get your Sato's emblem
Right, once you've got this, if you now go to the right where that screen was, and you'll see me going around here in a video, you will see that now this drone says Crest Acquired, and you can activate it. You can interact with the screen, but it does nothing, and the other two drones still say no Crest Acquired. Now, I'm assuming that these will be related to the Nessus, and wherever the third one is, but we are getting four forges. So the crests will likely be somehow linked to those. I don't know, but for now, we simply do not have any further information on how to activate these. They will likely be tied to their own tier emblem. This is the Japanese one. You've got the French one and the Norse one. So it makes sense with the three different regions. You have three different nodes. Once you activate them, it may actually give you the final key for the mysterious box. We don't know. So let me know in the comment section below your theories. What do you think will come from this? What do you believe we will get from this? Are we just gonna get emblems? Are we gonna get a cool weapon? Maybe an exotic? Probably not. Bungie gives nothing away. So you let me know in the comment section below on what you think we will get. And let me know your theories because it's pretty cool and interesting stuff and some of the stuff that these people on reddit have found is mind-blowing how they managed to do this stuff it's just wow the stuff that they put together just to create a roadmap of what needed to be done is just really truly remarkable so do check out the raid secrets section on reddit it really is a cool place to be right now with everyone theorizing and working together exactly how you would expect the destiny community to be well, that's pretty much everything for this video. We have the first two keys, we have the mysterious box, we've activated one crest, the location of the other two crests are here, we've also got the first emblem, Satao's secret, so I hope you found this useful, and if you have, a like would be greatly appreciated, don't forget to share and subscribe. With that said Guardians, thank you for watching, thank you for being here, and above all else, Remain Legend.